hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i'm going to describe uh, the general questions asked by indian immigration as per my analysis and my experience of course so before i proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe right now and whatever i am going to tell in this video is totally based on my knowledge and research and of course my experience so if you take anything out of this you do it at your own risk and moreover these things vary case by case so you could have a different experience than me <coughs> so guys as i said like uh, it depends on case by case so when i have entered india after going out of india a few times i entered as an indian citizen so definitely a citizen has the right to enter the country right you are the passport holder so nothing much was asked initially like first i was asked uh, like how long i was away and what i was doing and uh, then in the second time there was not even a question asked to me and they uh, they allowed me entry straight away now when they asked me some questions that time i'll go in 2018 when i had got the canadian citizenship and uh, i had surrendered my indian passport i did not have the time to apply for an oci card before i traveled to india so i had to take uh, an e visa to travel to india so e visa was granted to me quickly and it was processed pretty simply at new delhi airport they did not ask much questions like they just say asked like how long you're going to stay and uh, purpose so i said family visit and that's it they did not ask any more question after that but yes to my co travelers they have asked questions like uh, when did you last travel and uh, how long did you stay what is your uh, plan to stay this time and in my recent trip they again uh, did not ask me any question rather but they were sort slightly different like right? rather they asked me to put biometrics like they have made the process very what do you call safe now uh, it's safer than before because they are verifying your details digitally like uh, they scanned my passport they scanned my oci card and they also took eight fingers scan like they told me first put four left fingers then for right fingers then looked at the camera so they captured all the details before they allowed me entry and they also verify uh, immigration stamp they, before they let you leave the immigration area so there is a two step verification there as well now coming to next stage uh, i mean if you come here as a student or if you come here uh, to work or humanitarian reasons accordingly they do ask questions and also depends upon your country your uh, uh immigration history and what you have done in your previous travel if they find something in their system because they are like very much strict in this so do not expect it to be very easy if you have something to uh i mean to answer so that's it for now guys uh, please subscribe to the channel thank you